Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of our Coffee Time with Bourbon and Booze. And I'm really excited today because something that really got me interested in coffees that weren't basically store-bought coffees, you know, like your Folgers or Maxwell House or whatever, is about eh, close to 15 years ago, my wife and I went to Costa Rica. And Costa Rica is like a mecca for coffee. Um, lots of coffee plantations, different styles. And one of the coffees that we were most enthused about and liked was Brit coffee. And so we were kind of like little pack mules coming back to the States. We brought back <clears throat> probably 10 bags of Brit coffee and other styles of coffee. And that began our long journey towards uh, discovering the different variations of coffee around the world, as well as uh, craft coffees with craft roasting coffees within the U.S. <clears throat> so recently, it's been very hard to find Brit coffee in the U.S. It's almost non-existent to purchase, but you can get it online and have it shipped, but that increases the price. Uh, recently, coffee uh, Cafe Brit has um, developed a much better web page for ordering coffee, and so you can get it in the U.S. However, um, last year, just right as the pandemic was starting, I had a friend who was going down to Costa Rica <clears throat> and <clears throat> she's a, you know, a watcher of the show and everything. And so she's like, Hey, I know you guys like coffee. Um, do you want me to pick you up any in Costa Rica you could do on your show? <laughs> Sorry. Um, if, you, if there's any uh, coffee you want to do on your show. And I said, yes, pick us up some Brit coffee. And so she came up with two bags for us. And of course, because of, uh, the pandemic and social distancing and apparently people are trying to get a hold of me because of social distancing and such we weren't able to get it until just recently but one of them that she got me was the terrazzo uh costa rican coffee and it comes in about 13 14 us dollars for a bag this one's pre-ground so it's not the whole bean and it's uh, Terrazu or Terrazzo is a region of Costa Rica in the central mountains of Costa Rica. So that's uh, why it gets its name. It's 100% um, Arabica. And like I said, it's about $13.99, $14. And it is also uh, a very dark roast. It's a level seven on their roasting scale that goes to, I believe, nine, zero through nine. And so this is a level seven. And so you can see, hopefully, that it's very dark color as well. Very strong coffee. Uh, I like a really nice coffee smell. A little bit of earthly, earthy, uh, as coffee should be, or dusty, earthy. Um, I would assume kind of uh, aroma-wise, it's got a little bit of a chocolatey aroma to it. And maybe some I don't know fruity herbal um, aroma to it oh it's so smooth rich um, very good coffee ple uh, pleasantry on your on your palate uh, no bitterness to it at all no um, acidicness that you kind of get with coffees especially um, cheaper coffees I think it has Everything to do with the roasting and how much oil is extracted it determines the acidic level. Uh, this is really good coffee. Unfortunately, it's so hard to get that I'm afraid to make anymore because, you know, special occasions. But my wife and I are always talking for the past 15 years about trying to get down there to get more Brit coffee or whatever. So if you have an opportunity to go to Costa Rica and pick up some Brit coffee or you can get it in your area. If you're in the U.S. and you can get it in your area at some store or whatever you need to let us know in the comments uh, we are just at a couple coffee specialty type places um, that sell international stuff uh, today and they don't have brit coffee not that i was looking specifically for brit that's not why we went but um, i always go to the coffee and tea sections of these type of places so let us know if you can get it um, if you've had um, good luck ordering it through their website tell us how long it took you to get it or whatever but um, they have probably about 12 or so, 10 or 12 different variations depending on their regions 
um, and roasting levels and stuff like that. So all sorts of um, cool things to try with Brit coffee. So yes, very good. Oh, I could drink this all day and it, it's great uh, black, no creamers. Um, so give it a try that way. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and our merchandise. Remember, Mondays is our uh, oddity liquor days, uh, rums, tequilas, gins, stuff like that. Tuesday, Thursdays are our whiskey days, and of course, Friday is our um, cocktail day. So make sure you check out those, and uh, yeah, give us a little note in the down there about what you want us to try next. Happy Wednesday. <laughs>